Hey everyone, this is Ara, and today uh, we're going to take a look at Siri and home automation. Uh, we did do a video uh, a few months ago using the Amazon Echo, and uh, at that time I said I would do another one using Siri. What you're looking at right now is an iPad that's in my kitchen. It's mounted on the wall. Uh, we use it for all kinds of things, and in fact, uh, we do use it for home automation, but a lot of times we just use the uh, home app, uh, the, the um, home automation apps that I have installed, but now we're also using the home app that Apple just released in part of iOS 10, and we'll, you know, we'll take a look at that a little bit as well. But um, so this is all going to be about uh, voice commands here um, at first, and let's talk to Siri and ask it to do a couple things. So first off, we'll say, Hey Siri, turn on kitchen lights. Okay, the lights are on. And as you can see, the uh, I have two sets of lights. That's a ceiling fan, and we have some cam lights in here. So now what we'll do is we'll ask Siri to turn it off. Hey Siri, turn off kitchen lights. Okay, the lights are off. And it's easy as that. So um, this tablet is always plugged in, so the um, it's always listening for your Hey Siri command. Um, all right, so see, it just started that anyway. Uh, Siri, stop. That's great to hear. <laughs> all right, so now what we'll do is We'll ask Siri, hey Siri, what's the temperature in the house? The temperatures range from 73.9 to 81 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's because I have multiple sensors with this uh, Echo B thermostat and it is giving you all the temperatures uh, that it is rain, uh, that is reading. And some of those are upstairs and the temperature is a little bit warmer up there. So let's do this. Hey Siri, set the temperature to 72. Okay, I set the Echo B3 to about 72 degrees Fahrenheit. And so that's uh, that's Siri, and we're gonna go over to the door lock and we'll do a couple things with Siri and the door lock here in just a second. Okay, we're in the, um, in my living, in my front door actually, in my living room, and we're going to ask Siri to unlock the front door. Hey Siri, unlock the front door. And so it did it, um, I'm using my phone now because uh, I'm away from the other devices. And so I've set my phone not to um, uh, pair it back, whatever Siri says, so it's pretty quiet. So there, that was the unlock mechanism. Now we'll, we'll ask it to lock it. Hey Siri, lock the front door. Now I don't know why you would want to use your voice to do that. Typically, um, if you were away from home, you would probably just press a button. Um, you wouldn't necessarily talk to uh, Siri to do that, but you know, it still is able to take care of that for you. So uh, if you wish to do so. Another thing uh, you may want to use Siri for is to set scenes. For instance, in my family, sorry, in my theater room, I've got a movie mode and a movie mode on and a movie mode off. Uh, I've got a few other scenes in the house and you might just say, because the iPad's always plugged in and we've got it so it'll set up and listen to uh, Hey Siri, and I can say, Hey Siri, set movie mode on. Okay, the movie mode is on. And what that does in my family room is it turns off, we have a big lamp in there that it turns that off, and then it turns the can lighting to about 20%. So it's a little bit, uh, there's a little bit of light, but it's not pitch dark. Um, it's That's just the way we like it here. Now, uh, when the movie's done or we hit pause, I can say, hey Siri, set movie mode off. Okay, your humble abode is ready for movie mode off. And uh, you could set up all kinds of scenes. You can set up like a good night scene, a good morning scene, and you just wake up in the morning and you say, hey Siri, good night scene. Good night to you, too. And what it does is it'll, it'll turn off lights and uh, do whatever it needs to do. Um, so then I said the, we have the home application. So we're just gonna launch the home application. And this is by Apple. Um, so here I have the house all, um, it's kind of there, uh, my scenes are up at the top. 
and then we have the various different um, uh, accessories and it, you can put your favorites here or you can go to a room so let's see let's go to a room hit the room button and then we have our various rooms that's the default so here's the kitchen and in the kitchen I have a kitchen table light hit the kitchen table light and the kitchen table lights on and you can hit it and you can turn it off so you don't have to use um, voice also you can set up a picture this was just um, a picture that shows up but if I wanted to I could take a picture of the kitchen itself and that's what you would see in the background so it's kind of cool um, again let's see we had the the lock here we had the set up the unlocking the front door and locking the front door um, here's the thermostat oh, you have to hold it down so I can set the range so it's at 74 which is what I had Siri uh, do we're gonna change it to 76 or 77 and um, you probably didn't hear it but the air conditioner was on it just it just turned off and we have the various modes and you can set it to what you see there if we hit the details you'll see that it's the echo b3 and i believe if i click here it should launch the echo b application well actually it went to the uh the store because i don't have the echo b on this one sorry i have it on my other ipads so um, that's, uh, let's see what else, is there anything else I wanted to talk about on this? Uh, again, here's my movie mode on and off. I can hit this, movie mode is on, movie mode is off. So um, very cool app, uh, though I did have another app here, sorry for the, I should have probably put a tripod on here, but I had this app here, it's an original home app, uh, I paid like $15 for this. Um, and then here you have your various different rooms on the on the left you can scroll through them and uh, probably somewhere in here I have the kitchen family room anyway so they're all there uh, a little bit different if I turn this on like the bathroom heat lamp I can hit that button and it'll turn the bathroom heat lamp on do that sorry and it turns it off uh, home HomeKit is getting much better. Uh, it still has a little bit ways to go, but I was able through HomeKit to put various different devices together in one interface. For instance, uh, the lights that you saw were Insteon, and I'm using HomeBridge to make those appear as HomeKit lights. And the front door is a Schlage door lock, and the Echo B is a, um, um, a different thermostat. They each have their own apps, but they're all unified in the home app that uh, Apple has put together. Uh, is it where I would go right now? Probably not, but I have a feeling in a few years it'll end up being really good. So if you do want to get in on the uh, cutting edge, this would probably be uh, where you'd want to do that. Se and security is really good. They're, they're super encryption. And uh, in fact, encryption is what keeps some of the devices that are currently um, in the home automation market out of HomeKit just because the encryption and the security is so high, uh, a lot of these companies don't want to jump over those um, hurdles. So that's it. Um, hopefully you got something out of this. It was just a really quick video, uh, probably a little bit shaky, so I apologize for that. Send your feedback to htguys at htguys.com. Um, we answer pretty much all the email that we get. Uh, you can support the show by going to uh, uh, doing your Amazon shopping through our link and you can get there by going to htguys.com slash Amazon. That takes you right to the Amazon homepage and um, you anything you buy there we get a little bit of a commission. So we really appreciate your support. Tell your friends about our show, htguys.com and we'll see you next time.